Breaking right now, we are waiting for NASA to give us an update on what is next for its Artemis 1 moon mission as its SLS rocket stands tall at the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center. Scheduled to launch early Wednesday morning, leaders say the rocket suffered some minor damage from Nicole. News 6's Eric Von Anken is live at Kennedy Space Center, still waiting for that teleconference to start. Eric? Still, Matt, yes, we were told it was supposed to start today at noon and then it was pushed back to 6 p.m. tonight. And now we just found out the teleconference will start no sooner than 6.30. Mission managers told us they wanted to get together here at the Kennedy Space Center one more time today to go over with a fine-tooth comb that minor damage that they discovered after Hurricane Nicole. Remember, we were showing you these pictures of the giant mega moon rocket, the most powerful in the world, riding out the storm on the launch pad. It was strapped down very tightly, but still, NASA says, they didn't have a choice once they realized there was going to be a hurricane. It was too late to actually roll it back. So two things they discovered. One is an electrical connection on the rocket that receives signals up until launch time. They say they're trying to replace that electrical connection. Not a big deal. There are two redundancies. But the bigger issue is a piece of sealant, a piece of silicone sealant, much like caulk that they use to fill a gap between the top of the capsule, the Orion, and the service module below it. Well, they discovered after the storm that the wind had peeled away some of that sealant. The concern would be if it were to peel off and it were to fall down and impact another part of the rocket, you know, would you have an issue? And, and we're pretty comfortable that, the, that the, what we're looking at is not going to be a concern and we're going to be good to go. Of course, during the space shuttle days, this was a concern, debris transport. Yeah, but a, a tile is a lot different than a little piece of ceiling. I mean, you could imagine the ceiling around your window at your house and a little piece coming off, and that is not going to be an issue for this rocket. But remember, it was a little piece of foam that broke off the external tank of Space Shuttle Columbia in 2003 on launch that ended up punching a hole in the underside of the wing on that orbiter that caused the orbiter upon re-entry, remember, to break up and losing all seven astronauts. So right now, we're waiting for NASA to tell us, do they think it's a big deal or not? Or at least a small enough deal to try and get this thing up in the air very early Wednesday morning at 1.04. So we'll be here till 7 o'clock. We'll see you again then. As soon as we hear from this briefing, we'll let you know. For now, live at the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Aiken getting results. Do 6.